Hi, I'm Eric Paul, the Chemistry Guru, and you are watching H2 Chem Hacks, making H2 Chemistry simpler, one video at a time. Hi everyone, in this video, we'll go through the Markovnikov rule, which is applicable when you have an asymmetrical alkene undergoing electrophilic addition reaction to form products. The Markovnikov rule is pretty simple to apply when you have an asymmetrical alkene undergoing electrophilic addition reaction involving reactants like HBr, HCl, or HOH, or basically water. We may use our Markovnikov rule to decide which product is the major product, which product is the minor product. The Markovnikov rule states that the hydrogen will be attached to the alkene carbon with more hydrogen. Let's take a look at these two examples for us to apply the Markovnikov rule. Now for the first example, we have this alkene adding HBr. So basically what I'm doing is I'm adding a hydrogen and a bromine to my alkene. Now in order for us to decide which carbon has more hydrogen, one very simple way is I box up my C double bond C. Now you notice the carbon on the left hand side is attached to a CH3, it's attached to one hydrogen, so this carbon has one hydrogen. Now think of this three hydrogen belongs to the alkene carbon, doesn't belong to this alkene carbon, so it's not counted towards the number of hydrogen. Now this carbon on the right hand side is attached to one hydrogen, two hydrogen. So according to Markovnikov rule, carbon on the right has more hydrogen, so hydrogen will join to the carbon on the right, and Br will be attached to the carbon on the left to give us the major product. Now again, if you look at the product, this carbon originally has more hydrogen, so the hydrogen is attached to the carbon with more hydrogen, and this will be the major product. Now this carbon originally has less hydrogen, so when hydrogen is attached to this particular carbon, it will be the minor product. Now for the second example, the idea is the same. You have this alkene, you are adding water, so basically you are adding H and OH. So where would the hydrogen go to to give us the major product? This carbon on the left hand side is attached to 1CH3, 1CH3, so no hydrogen. So the other carbon is bonded to 1CH3, 1 hydrogen, so it's 1 hydrogen. So again, if I compare the two carbons, this carbon on the right has more hydrogen, hydrogen will join to this carbon to give us the major product. Again, the carbon on the right hand side has more hydrogen, hydrogen is joined to this carbon, this will be the major product. And carbon on the left hand side has less hydrogen, so when hydrogen joins to this carbon, will give us the minor product. So this is how we apply Markovnikov rule for the electrophilic addition of asymmetrical alkenes. If you have enjoyed this video, please share this with your friends. To learn more about H2 Chemistry, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. If you want to know more about my H2 Chemistry classes at Nishan, please visit my website. Thank you for watching H2 Chem Hacks. I hope I've made H2 Chemistry simple for you. I'll see you next time.